Round two forthcoming here between Juliana Lima and Randa Marcos. We are now going to welcome in two other members of our broadcast team. They are Tyron Woodley and Michael Bisping. T. Wood, your thoughts on what we saw just there in round one, my man? In opening round, you saw Juliana Lima looked as if she wanted to Set get a little fire. scrappy. She wanted to strike, but Marcos stalked her, backed her against the octagon, and as Dom caught it, he caught a safety position. There was not a lot of attacks. Um, I would actually say the incorrect usage of the clinch. You use the clinch to get the fight to the canvas, you use it to drop elbows and knees. It was usually using to stalemate. Um, even the information that was given in the corner, um, Lima coach told her she was doing a phenomenal job. I would tell her, do not engage in a clinch. Leave it in the open. Look for your strikes and look to win the fight. The combinations are not just to breathe on the cage. Yeah, the first round was a battle for a position that predominantly was won by Randa Marco. She pushed her up against the fence. You guys talked about the referee maybe stepping in, but as we saw at the end, Lima actually got the takedown, but Marcos quickly reversed her, and once again, we see Lima here on top by the fence, a tricky position for Randa Marcos right now. All right, Tyron Willie, Michael Bisping, thank you very much. We will see you shortly on Fox. So a minute gone by here, round two, and Juliana Lima has Marcos fighting off of her back here. Yeah, we got Marcos with the half guard position. It's like an opposite side. Usually Marcos would have the other leg. It'd be good for Marcos to grab an underhook on the left side, and then she could actually start getting to her feet, but she's kind of hooking herself down with those legs. So now we've got Lima in the top position with double underhooks exactly where she wants to be. She's looking to crawl her way up the body to mount. And Marcos just locking her legs down because she knows if she gets those knees past Marcos' hips, she'll have mounts. So Marcos is trying to still make that out and stop that by hooking her legs. Juliana Lima, not necessarily a submission threat. Stop! Separate. Tonight it's a Fox UFC fight night that you don't want to miss in the main event. A rematch over five years in the making as Jacare Souza takes on knockout artist Derek Brunson. It's Fox UFC fight night. Jacare versus Brunson 2. It is tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, only on Fox. Some, thro some punches thrown by Marcos to miss. Your thoughts on that referee stand-up, the right decision there, yeah? Yeah, I mean... Uh, they were kind of squeezing. I think that that can happen on the fence at the same time. I mean, you hold, you hold on to somebody long enough on the fence, the takedown's bound to occur. Nice kick by Lima. She's been throwing that cheap kick up the middle, and I think that's because Marcos always hunches over. But right now, we're seeing Marcos just wait for that cheap kick. She got the pocket, went for the takedown. This is what she does. She just kind of... She, Marcos always gets ahead on the scorecards by waiting for your small mistakes. And then she attacks. She gets the takedown. She gets the position. She keeps the position. She wears the clock down and slowly beats on you. Strike by strike. Position by position. She's in full mount right now on top of Lima. And here come the punches. Here come the damage that she was wanting. Some of the heaviest ground and pound in this division. Marcos making these shots count. No longer, though, has the mount. Two minutes to go here in this second round. Half guard of Lima. She's trying to go around the waist of Marcos to, to try to reach back underneath that near leg. But Marcos reads it. She's got what's called the wizard or the overhook on this one. And you're able to just create top pressure here and use her right hand to, to land elbows and punches here with that wizard. The wizard is the left arm of Marcos. Nice short shots there for Randa Marcos. Continuing to apply pressure here. If you're Lima, what are you trying to do? If you're Lima, you gotta get you gotta use that underhook to, to draw Marcos high towards your head. Right now, Marcos is low on the hips of Lima, and so Lima can't get up. She can't get her hips out of there. Marcos is hooking that bottom leg, which is keeping Lima on her back. Three to one in terms of the total strikes for Randa Marcos outlanding Juliana Lima. Several of those have come on the ground here in this sequence. Now, if you're going to go for a submission or a sweep, Lima's in the right position. But she's not sweeping. She's just kind of sitting here waiting. So if you're going to sit here and wait, then you want to unhook your legs and use them to get up. Because right now, she's holding herself down with her legs. If your legs are underneath you, then you can stand up. Nice high guard by Lima trying to get Marcos high on her, in her guard so she can sneak in an armbar or a triangle here. That's what Lima's looking for. She's looking for an armbar or a triangle. You see Marcos' elbows real wide so that her arm doesn't get caught. 
Chocolino, very animated to our immediate right. Julian Lima's chief corner. Also, the key is you see Marcos is inside the arms of Lima here. So it makes it hard to be offensive from your back when the person on top is inside your arms. Eu só não quero é você jogando muito chute alto e não me derrubando. Joga a bola no meio da boca. Entendeu? Outra coisa, não assim que ela te andar no pai. Você tem que trabalhar com o pai. Você tem que trabalhar com o pai. Você tem que trabalhar com o pai. Fuck three, but you fight for five minutes. Don't let her throw three kicks before you. Jogando as cadeiras e as mesas agora virou briga de baixa. Okay, now, now, now you have to abandon the game plan. Now it's fight. You gotta get, yeah, throw the game plan away and start fighting. I don't want you to be backed up. Move forward, move forward, control the center of the cage. The way to win this fight. Now it's time to go fight. Now it's fight. Throw the game plan in the window. Go fight. The FS1 UFC Fight Night prelims are sponsored by Cerveza Modelo, the official beer of the UFC. Our third and final round here between Random Martin.